We are going to be making part one of our project inspired by the book, The Dot. So our project is gonna have a lot of circles. You need water, a paintbrush, and your watercolors. So go ahead and wake up your paintbrush. He's been sleeping. Get him nice and wet. And start with any color you want to. So we're basically just going to make circles all over our paper. There's no right or wrong. Use any color you want. I'm just going to use all sorts of colors today. So with watercolor, the more water you have, the lighter the color will be. So I'm having to go back because I want my color to stand out a little bit more than it is right now. So I'm going back and just adding another layer of paint on top of that. You can do all sizes of circles. I love blue. I'm gonna add some blue. Really my favorite color is teal. What's your favorite color? Now when the two colors touch each other, you might have some blending happen. So a new color could be created. So watch out for that. Ooh, I love that color combination. So in between each color, you do want to wash out your brush. So go ahead and wash it out. You want to wipe it off, get that color out. But again, all we're doing today is just adding our circles, however many you want to, how small, how big, whatever colors. Now, one thing I like to do when I make circles is have some going off the side of the page. I might take a different color blue and show you what I mean. Like right here. You only see a portion of the circle. I'm gonna go back and make that thicker. Now, when you're doing your circle lines, the outline of your circle, you can make some really thick. And you do that by pushing your paintbrush down more or just it kind of expanding right beside your line, just add another little line beside it and it just eventually will make your line thicker. To make a thinner circle, let me wash out my brush. Let's go for a pink this time. You just wanna use the tip of your paintbrush. And when you use the tip, your, your line's gonna be thinner. Again, you can make them as thick as th or thin as you want to. Let me go back and add some of this color up here. One thing you could also do is overlap some of your circles. So today, the only shape you are putting on your canvas, your paper, that's our canvas today, is circles. Do as many as you'd like. We need some green. What do you think? Some green would be nice. Green and red are contrasting colors. So maybe right up against this. Red, I'll put some green. All right, keep going, add your circles. Here is my finished piece for part one. We're gonna let this dry and come back to it next week and add more to our masterpiece.